Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Knowledge with Hisham and in today's video I'm going to talk about the World War 2. So let's get started. So as we know the World War 2 started in the year 1939 but that's what history tells us. So Hitler himself had started the events of World War II before 1939. For example, he invaded many countries nearby him that were first from Germany. I mean, were in the jur jurisdiction of Germany. But later, after the Treaty of Versailles, they were divided and were given the status of separate countries. But Hitler wanted them back. So he attacked so Britain and France only confronted um, he tried to invade this country it's too hard to pronounce I can't I cannot simply pronounce it so they gave him a part of that country which they named it as Sudentland but as we know Hitler's nature he just simply tricked both France and Britain and invaded the whole country. So when Britain, uh, so when Germany was invading Poland, then only the Allied forces attacked Germany. By that time, Hitler had raised his power to such an extent that stopping him would take a lot of years. To think about if Britain and France had stopped Hitler from taking from conquering other countries would there be a second world war or no? but they did not do that they simply allowed him Britain uh, the Prime Minister of Britain Chamberlain even actually gave, gave the idea of giving student land to uh, Hitler so that he could stop invading the countries which student land belongs to and it's too hard to pronounce so here's the mistake of Chamberlain himself that he did not stop them Okay, let's leave the mistakes aside. Now, after this mistake, he resigned. And another prime minister named, we, uh, named Sir Winston Churchill came, came forward as a prime minister. So during his reign, Germany had launched the Operation Sea Lion. So this operation was a little bit of focusing on Britain only because Germany had cleared one of the biggest obstacles for their success which was France and Britain and the Allied forces badly wanted to win France back we know that they succeeded but what about the Operation Sea Lion so it started at 1st August 1940 so what Germany did, he uh, so Hitler himself uh, organized the plans. First, he uh, so after organizing, he sent first German bombers and then the normal aircrafts. This had weakened Britain to such an extent that they were about to lose. But what changed the fate of Britain? A new technology was developed by but it proved quite effective and Britain was able to take out a lot of German planes. So Hitler's plan of invading Britain had failed. But Hitler also succeeded at many more things. He invaded many countries. He even reached Russia. So where did the bad thing happen? One of his tactics was not to stand ground, which was a pretty f uh, big failure for the world uh, for the Germany at World War One, because they stood ground and made trenches. Now Hitler didn't want to repeat history, 
So he ordered his men to advance and advance. But at that time, it was winter. So the soldiers are human beings. They could not advance simply just on because of orders from a huge hot shot. So they still had to advance. But because of the extreme winter, number one, number two, the amount of resistance they had failed to advance and made trenches over there and they were completely nearly dead there's also a list of uh, numbers of people who died soldiers that didn't die from explosions bullets sniper shots but they died from freezing and then this was the only turning point of history now russian soldiers who are trained to, who are specially trained to deal in arctic or uh, arctic or uh, cold environments in short they are specially trained to work in that environment but the germans weren't so they lost that's a pretty good reason. So except the Operation Sea Lion, there was another operation, but this time it was from the Allies. This operation was aiming at one old city made up of wood and other ancient things, you know, ancient architecture. So uh, there were a lot of spy games type thing. So Britain got the report that many of German soldiers were meeting up in one city called Dresden. So there was also an invention of napalm, also na known as incendiary bombs. So they tried to use it on them and there was a firestorm. Burned everything, the whole city was burned and millions of people were killed, and thousands of millions. But still they didn't know that uh, were that were the German or were they just ordinary people who were fleeing from Germans. We still don't know. So as we know, Hitler suicided at the, nearly the, at the end of the World War II. Germany surrendered again and there was only one thing left for Je uh, for the obstacles for ending World War II and that was Japan and there comes the story of the nuclear bombs so America uh, you know the main candidate of World War II decided to finish the war with Japan once and for all because they knew their tactics were not working but they had to make a big blow in Japan so that they could surrender and thus the atomic bombs were invented. Now these bombs are usually made up of uranium. There is uranium deposit all in the bomb and they multiply simply and thus the explosion occurs. So why Japan, um, which is located at the end of Asia, started to fight with Europeans? Why did it, did it made an alliance with Germany? So Japan wanted its territory to be expanded and it had taken over enormous amounts of American Call uh, islands also so as you can see in the picture the uh, you can see a pink color country uh, over countries that is the territory captured by Japan during the world war and the territory held by Japan in 1941 is actually with in red color oh my god so they nearly were ca they nearly had captured the quarter of china 
they wanted to expand their reins so that they could get more resources. It's a stranded island. It's covered with seas from all four sides. So that's why Japan needed to expand its territory. So where did America pinpoint the locations to send the atomic bombs? Two areas which were targeted for atomic bomb tests and those were Hiroshima and the port of Nagasaki. Then after the explosion there was nothing left uh, in that area. In those areas. It was a terrible blow for Japan and they surrendered but according to the leaks uh, which came to the US press Japan was seeking peace bef even before the atomic bombs. Wow! Simply amazing. They knew and they still wanted to test those atomic bombs, killing hundreds, thousands, God knows how many. And even and after the atomic bombs, there was another kind of thing, the people who inhabited in Hiroshima, who survived the atomic bombs, uh, bombs were dying mysteriously, which we know as atomic plague. You see, they needed to work out whether it works or not. Channel, if you haven't subscribed yet, do subscribe, like this video, and share. Bye-bye.